Welcome back, my name is Philip, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to change the color of grass. I'm going to show you two techniques, one which you can also use to color a t-shirt, which is actually what it's better suited for, and the other one which I prefer, with, uh, with which you can essentially select the color range which is already in the image and then only change that color range. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you can do, if that's what you feel like, is hit Command, Alt, Shift and N on the keyboard. That's just going to create a new layer. You can also just click on the new layer symbol down here. Then get your brush by hitting B. Select the nice color you want to have the, the grass to have. For example, like I have right now, it's a nice pink. And with an opacity of 60%, I'm just going to paint into the grass. Looks horrible. Just give me a second because we're going to change the blending mode from normal down to hue. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit. And I can obviously go over that again and again. Okay, here we go. Add a bit more over here. And maybe here, but you already see the issue with this is while that works, and you can of course adjust the opacity to make it look a bit more natural. The problem is you have to cut out anything which is not grass, because otherwise you're going to paint it, right? So for example, now that stone, I have painted it. So in that sense, this is good if you want to either, for example, paint the sky. So that is what I'm using to actually paint the sky, for example, in this very image. Um, or it's good to kind of close because you have to normally cut them out properly anyway. Okay, so in this instance, let's delete that layer. This is one way. The way I personally prefer is the use of a simple hue saturation layer. So if I click on use hue saturation and I play with hue, I'm going to change the hue of the whole image, which is, of course, not necessarily what I want, even though it does color the grass, but everything else also. So let's bring that back to zero. And instead of the master level, we're going to go down to the greens. So, and here is the interesting thing. While green is obviously a little bit subjective, right? So it could be like a dark, very, very extremely dark green might not be recognized as green by Photoshop. So if you want to know exactly which colors you're influencing in your image, just increase the saturation and the hue to its maximums. And whatever goes nuts in the image is the color range you're actually affecting. So now you can see that everything goes nuts is mostly grass, okay? Not the sky, not the boat, nothing else. And you have the chance to adjust that, okay? So here you have the sort of soft edge of your selection. So if I were to drag that limitlessly to the left, you'll see I would start to also select colors which are in the sky, which of course is not what I want. So I'm going to just drag it up to the moment, maybe to something like, like this here. And you can also drag the left side uh, to, to the left, to the right, sorry, the right side to the right, <laughs> to maybe something like that. So now everything which is nuts, remember, is what the color we are going to change now if we change the hue. So if I bring these two back, uh, these two sliders back to normal, to maybe something like uh, that, and I start to play with the hue, you can see that the only thing which is changing its color is actually the grass. And I don't have to make any selection around it, and I don't have to take care uh, to cut out, I don't know, this kind of stone or whatever, because the selection will only be taking place wherever the color was we have just previously selected. Okay, so that is a really neat and nice little way to make sure that the selection which you have previously made is only affected and nothing else. And that is personally what I prefer to use because it always looks natural. Okay, so for example, like if you show this image to somebody, of course, based on this guy, they will say, yes, that's definitely photoshopped, but this may actually be a dead grass, right? So it could, it could, could be, why wouldn't it? Uh, if we increase it to a really soft one, yeah, sure, it's just fresh and you have increased the saturation, but no, actually you have completely changed the color of the grass. You could also go a bit in the magic way. So in this very instance, there's, of course, because the grass was mown, right, there are some brown patches in there, which we did not select prior. So what you, in these cases, can do, you can use a combination of both techniques. And what that means is, you can create a new layer by hitting Command, Alt, Shift, and N, get your brush by hitting B, hit Alt on your keyboard, and select a source color, which you then can, by changing the blending mode of the layer to Hue, which you then can essentially just paint over the brown areas to make them be essentially grass, right, to something like that. And you don't have to do it for the whole image, just the areas which you would like to change also, even though they're not green, okay? And once you have done this and you apply the hue saturation method, you will also affect these areas which have previously been not affected because they were not green, now they are green, now they are affected. So that is a very, very extremely, not this one actually, we want to go to this one, that is a very, very easy way to change the color of grass in Photoshop without having to cut out anything quickly. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also please do subscribe for more weekly Photoshop stuff and things. I shall see you later. Bye!